Something tells me it's definitely past the Nintendo way of game making where the magical number is three. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking it might be a good five missions and then murder someone. And then I don't know if that's the end of the game or, or what, because the game's technically ended, but we still have missions to do for Victoria. So, if I make it to this point, and I have to say it's continued, or if it's actually part of the game... I mean, it's actually, oh shit, I figured out how many missions there are. There's four. So, four missions. Just have to do two more. I think we can do that tonight. Uh, I just have to edit this tomorrow, and it should be fine. Oh look, chimney sweepers. That is a terrible job. That would suck. I don't know if I would ever want to do that job. Am I heading the right direction? Please tell me I am. Well, I thought I was going to kill myself there. Alright, well, we're down. If only I could figure out where the fuck I need to go. Well, where am I? I'm heading in the right direction, just doesn't show up on the mini-map on where I need to be. It's like super secret. Out in the garden. Alright, what the fuck? Alright, you. Our much lamented husband adored these gardens. He called them his one safe port. In the midst of the mad seas of this world. We miss him dearly. But never mind all that. To business. Our Mr. Fleming has learned from the Templar prisoner that an attack is imminent. But before we could learn more, he escaped custody. He is believed to be hiding in Westminster. We capture him for us that we might learn his secrets. Slippery devil. I'll find him, Mom. All right. I have to go get a Templar guy, and then do something, and then hopefully, uh, one more thing. Oh, hold on! I hear something jingly over here. Oh, you are the keeper of the jinglies. Nice try. It's mine, and you get a severe punishment for that, and I get free shit. Thank you. Now. Over to wherever the hell I'm going. Oh, never mind. Figured out where I'm going. I just have to uh, figure out where he is within this big green circle. Something tells me uh, just follow the red. To go back down real quick. Anything red here? Doesn't look like it. But it gave me a little marker, so I'm assuming if I used it. Use the eagle vision inside that area, I would be fine. Huh. We got down there, down from there pretty easily. Oh shit, he's moving. Alright. Well. I didn't realize he was moving. Or how fast he was moving. Easy girl. That's it. Lead me to the rest of the group. Oh, I had to tail him. Shit. Woo. My favorite kind of mission in any game. You ask me to tail someone, I automatically hate it. I am automatically no longer a fan of the mission. Doing fine, girl. Easy, girl. I have tailed them. Easy. Alright. I have to continue tailing. Okay, well. Not too hard. Alright, well, 
Damn. I need to get these explosives away from the civilians. I'll deal with the Templar later. Hijack the carriage. No, 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 no. No, you're, you're not getting on here anytime soon. Absolutely not. Oh, yes. Alright, so that should be all of them. Alright. If we can't blow up a building, we'll just have to settle for blowing up an assassin. Alright, time to get the fuck out of here. I don't know where I'm going. But hopefully. Hopefully I'm heading towards this safe place. I am slamming the shit out of A to try to go as fast as possible. Of course, shit would be unmounting in the way. Alright. Minute and ten seconds. And there's a bunch of shit in the way, just unmanned, in the road. Okay, this is bad. This, this is fucking terrible. Alright. We should be good here. There's a fire on the bridge. Now there's... A yeah. Now there's fire engines and shit in the way trying to fix that. I need to get to the other side of the road. If only... If only steering was easy. Oh, sorry, Mr. Officer. I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. You can fuck off. And the safe space shall be... over here, I guess. I'm getting fed up with these bomb-crazed Templars. Alright, time, time to get the fuck off here. Uh, time, time to leave. That, that's a whole lot of shit going on over there. Alright, well. We did that. There's no money coming out of there. Now, where's the next place? Next thing, please. Right back over here. And that should be the last Victoria mission. I hope. And then that will be the full game. I'm going to do a pretty long finale. Uh, then hopefully uh, this is continued. I, I didn't see like a, a subtitle thing at the end like most of these games have had. Uh, I was expecting one so I could sit here and give a review of the game. Uh, all, I, all I can really say is I enjoyed the game. The story is pretty good. I enjoyed the... Con uh, the idea of having two assassins uh, didn't really care too much. Uh, they, the fact that we only that we had two assassins and basically the same amount of uh, same amount of gameplay doesn't help me feel for one character or the other. All I knew is that Evie liked Henry, and Jacob liked killing, and I I agreed with Jacob on a lot of it, and Evie was just there, I guess. It, there wasn't enough character progression for either either person, uh, either character in, the, in this story. Uh, it was still a fun fun game. I enjoyed it. Boss battle could have been better. It was very cinematic, though. I enjoyed the cinematics on it, but it could have been better. It could have been like the Assassin's Creed 2 one, but I don't know. Get out of the way. Hello. That's, uh, ooh, I got a royal cloak cape. Stop the Templars from blowing up the House of Parliament. This shouldn't be too bad. We got this. This should be good. The final group of upstarts are making their last desperate stand. They have penetrated the Houses of Parliament and plan to detonate whatever explosives they have left. Please find Mr. Fleming. So we might put an end to this once and for all. Okay. So, we have to get Mr. Fleming. Well, I can't free run down. I was going to try. Uh, we have to find him. He's probably dead. Um, <laughs> what the fuck was that noise? Ah, Sorry. That now, 
Uh, the the I would like to give a real big review on this game, but I can't. There there's really the the game was good. I, I that's as far as I can give it. I mean, I can't exactly give it a rating. I mean, I remember giving Mafia Two like a seven out of ten just because they killed Joe. This game didn't have that problem. I but I didn't feel for any of the characters. Like at the end of one of the Assassin's Creed games, main character dies, and you feel for him because you played with him for like four, four, uh, four games or five games, however many it was. Then you become a first person, like person who works in the in somewhere. I forget where it is. They cover it in Unity. That's the best thing they have in Unity. Other than that. Uh, I, I disregard that game as a, as a game or a work of art or people actually putting work into it because that game is absolute garbage. So is Destiny, but they did give it $60 more DLC just to make it s seem good. I, on, I, I can't respect that. I, it's hard to respect games like that, but... This game, I, I was complete. I was completely fine with that. I kind of wish there was more out of the story kind, uh, out of the animus kind of th stuff. That would have been cool. Um, what also would have been cool is uh, the the World War One thing. I kind of wish the World War One stuff was kind of its own game or maybe its own DLC, not just sort of put into the game and not have a. Not really makes sense. It didn't really make sense to me. It might have made sense to other people, um, but like that—that's just personal opinion at this point. Uh, and that—that's basically what a review is. But that's—it's more personal opinion than than usual. Now, how the fuck do I get in there? Is there an entryway, entry point anywhere? I don't, I don't know. How the fuck do you get in? Hello, assholes. How do I? How do I get in your building? I'm gonna go ahead and just drop down all the way and hope that. Oh, here's an entrance. That works. Oh no! Don't go this way. Here he is. Hello. You look sneaky. Multiple targets inside the palace, all armed and dangerous. Making matters worse, the prime minister has gone missing. Now let's see what happens when we mix these two elements together.